In this video, I'm going to reveal a simple five-step approach that you can apply today to make $100 or more with the Course RIA affiliate program. I'm gonna reveal everything that you need to do so that you can get up and running fast. Hi, my name is Alston Godbolt with AustinGodbolt.com. I create content to actually help you make money online and not just to put money into my own pocket. And if you wanna be added to the globe, comment down below with your city, state, zip code, province, or country and I'll get you pinned. All right, so as I mentioned, what we're gonna do today is we are going to start making money with the Courseria affiliate program. I'm going to quickly go over what Courseria is and reveal a simple five-step process that we can implement to potentially start making money. Now let's go ahead and jump into my computer and I'm gonna give you a quick overview of what Courseria is. Now, if you don't know, Courseria is an online learning platform that you can go to to enroll in classes. Now, you might think this is kind of like Udemy or Udemy, but you couldn't be further from the truth. Courseria is I would say more of a professional platform you can take these courses as you can see here from actual universities and earn online degrees if we look at this for example this Bachelor of Arts and Liberal Studies completion is offered by Georgetown University and it's 120 degrees so once you completed this program you would actually have a degree that you could take people and say look I have knowledge skills and understanding in liberal arts you can see it's four hundred dollars per credit hour and there are tons of these courses out here a lot of these courses are offered by really well-known established colleges and universities. As you can see, Master of Applied Data Science by the University of Michigan. There's tons of courses out here. You can see that the actual range between thirty-four and forty-six thousand dollars. But you can see this is a real online program, and I think this could be a really good opportunity for people that still need a degree in order to show their manager or their boss that they have knowledge and understanding. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get in into the simple five-step process that you can implement today to start making $100 per day with this affiliate program. So the first thing that you're gonna do, obviously, is you're going to need to apply to the program. Now, in order to do that, you can simply Google Courseria Affiliate Program, or you can go over to impact.com because Courseria has partnered with the affiliate network impact.com. And as you can see here, you'll earn up to a 45% commission and there's over 4,000 courses and specializations. Now, if you look closer into this, the commissions actually vary widely between 15% and 45%, which is something that you'll obviously want to know and understand. And you can see the affiliate cookie window is 30 days. So you have 30 days from the time that someone clicks on your affiliate link for them to enroll in a program for you to make money, which is really, really cool. Now, I often speak with people that have a difficult time getting approved for these affiliate programs. And this is what I'm gonna suggest. There's always a box in these affiliate applications that say, what's your plan? How are you going to promote this company? What I want you to do is approach it like you are submitting a business business plan because these companies don't know you. They don't know how well you're going to create content. They know absolutely nothing about you. The only thing they know about you is what you put on paper. So what I would do is I would take detailed notes and I'd write out a very, very thorough business plan. I would say, hey, you know, my name is Alston Godbolt. I've been an affiliate marketer for X amount of years. And here is my step-by-step -step game plan to make money because these guys only want to partner with people that are going to further their brand. They don't want to partner with people that are going to spam affiliate links and devalue the brand. So what I'm going to say is here's my step-by-step -step game plan to uh, promote and improve Courseria. Step number one is this is my niche. This is the reason why I'm choosing my niche. My niche is pickleball or paddleball because I am an avid gamer or avid member of the paddleball community. I have played paddleball for the last 15 years and it's something that I am truly passionate about. My next step is to promote this course here, which I'll get into in just a moment. And then make sure that you are as thorough and as detailed as possible. You do not want to leave anything up to the imagination. These people, again, don't know anything about you so again assume that you are going to write a lengthy business plan now what will happen or what may happen is sometimes you'll get rejected from these different affiliate programs that's okay you still want to create the content you still want to move forward and move on to the next steps essentially because even if they reject you you can always reapply a little bit later you can always partner with other affiliate programs don't let no stop you from what your dreams or goals are which are to make money with affiliate marketing you will still need to create the content anyway so even if they reject you, 
keep moving forward onto content creation, and then always reapply a little bit later. So after you apply to the affiliate network, the next step is to pick a niche. Yes, I want you to pick a niche and not only pick a niche, but niche down. If we look at the screen here and we look at all of the different opportunities that are out there, you can see data science is a niche, business is a niche, but within business, there are other types of business. For example, Excel, Power BI, project management. I want you to focus on a sub niche because that's going to allow you to create a better game plan, a better business plan and create better content. Because quite honestly, people that are interested in digital marketing probably aren't interested in Excel. So we want to get very narrowly focused on one of these different opportunities. For example, if I looked at, let's say Excel, you can see there are all sorts of courses inside of Excel that people are interested in taking. So very, very important to niche down into a very specific group of people. If you are too broad, you are going to be focusing on too many people. And when you are focusing on too many people, you wind up not catching anybody. So I encourage you niche down. That is a part of your business plan. You are going to tell them, Hey, my niche is information technology and my focus is in cybersecurity. This is a great start to your business plan niche down. I can't emphasize that enough. You want to be talking to a small group of people, the size of a football field, 10,000 to a hundred thousand people. Very, very important. Now, once you niche down, the next step is to pick a platform. This could be YouTube. This can be Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn, Twitter, pick one and only focus on one. They all work. Okay. There are literally billions of people that hang out on these different platforms. And so again, if you niche down and you talk to a very specific group of people, you will be able to target the right people on these different platforms. Now it's very important that you pick one platform and you focus because each of these platforms behave and interact differently. And we're going to talk about that in just a moment. What I want you to do in the very beginning is to pick one. If you choose YouTube, there are literally billions of people that use YouTube every single month. If you use TikTok, again, there are billions of people that use these different platforms. You don't have to be everywhere to be successful. You just have to focus on one. And when you pick the one, I want you to focus on becoming the expert in that platform. Understand how the algorithms work. Understand how the user interactions work. Understand what works best for these different platforms. That will allow you to grow quicker and earn affiliate commissions faster. I don't have a recommendation of one being better than the other, again, because essentially they all work and they all work very well. Now, once you've identified the platform, I want you to switch gears and get into email marketing. Email marketing is the only way for you to have success over a long sustained period of time. And email marketing essentially consists of a few different parts. They consists of a landing page. That's where people are going to go to after you create the content. After the landing page, there's a thank you page. In order to collect people's names and emails, you need to give what's called a lead magnet where you give away something for free. And then you've got autoresponding and broadcast emails. Now, if you want to get started with email marketing, which I encourage you to do, check out the first link in the description. It takes you to Gbolt Systems Lite. A Gbolt Systems Lite is an all-in-one email marketing software where you can use it to create landing pages, sales pages, sell your digital physical physical products and even do your marketing, like I said, all in one place. So if you decide not to do email marketing with Gbolt Systems, please do email marketing somewhere else. Anywhere else is better than not doing email marketing at all. One of the biggest benefits of email marketing is you should make a dollar per email subscriber per month. So if you've got 10,000 people on your mailing list, you should make $10,000. Now that probably won't happen in the very beginning, but that's a great goal to shoot for. All right. So once you do email marketing, you are going to start creating content. Now the type of content you create is going to vary based on the platform. For example, if you're using an older or a more mature platform, you are going to do what's called search engine based marketing. For example, if we go over to YouTube, let's assume that our niche is cybersecurity. We are going to head over to YouTube and I'm going to do some research based on cybersecurity. One thing that you can do as well is you can use terms based on cybersecurity and that'll help you come up with more content ideas. For example, I'm just going to type in cybersecurity. As you can see, cybersecurity tutorial, click there. And what we'd want to do is we want to take a look at the at the YouTube channels that are already doing very well and see what we can model. For example, here the PC security channel doing all things cybersecurity. I'm going to open this up and I'm going to take a look at the videos and look at the videos that I've done the best over the last two weeks. Now, this video right here, how you get hacked, what attackers use today could be a great video that you can improve on. Now, don't watch the video to take their ideas. Look at this title. Think about 
about, okay, how can I take this title and improve it and modify it so that I make it better? Now that's if you are going to use an older, more mature platform that has a search capability. If you are using a newer platform like Instagram or TikTok, what I want you to do is I want you to look at the pain points, challenges, goals, dreams, and things that your target audience might be thinking, but not saying out loud. So what you're going to do is you're going to come back over here and look at, for example, foundations of cybersecurity, and you're going to start creating content based on that. So people that are taking this course, they might be looking at getting a job in cybersecurity. And so you're going to talk about the potential pain points, goals, dreams, challenges, and things that they're thinking with respect to people that want a job in cybersecurity. Now, again, the reason why I want you to pick one platform is because all of these different platforms interact differently. And so you might need to create three pieces of content per day to start getting traction on TikTok, whereas on YouTube, you might only need to create one long form video every three days. And so as I mentioned, the fifth step is simply to just create content based on the platform. So quickly, just to go over these five steps, step number one is to apply to impact and apply to the Courseria affiliate program. Step number two is to pick your niche and niche down. Step number three is to identify the platform where you want to create content. Step number four is email marketing. And then step number five is to create content. Now, essentially what you'll just need to do is continuously create content and drive people to your landing page where you collect your name and email. You're going to just do this continuously until you are meeting at least $100 per day with the Courseria affiliate program. Now that you know how to get started step by step, watch this video next as it is a free five hour masterclass that shows you how to monetize your social media.